Hey, continuing backstage at the 2018 Artios Awards, I'm here with Tate Ellington, who is just a presenter from yes. awards up on stage. So we're celebrating casting directors tonight. You've had uh, the opportunity to work with casting directors yes. during the course of your career. Absolutely. What makes a good casting director? Uh, I would say normally I actually live with a casting director. I've been married to one for <laughs> about five years. Uh, I would say their patience, uh, especially coming from my wife. Um, I think that's one of the main things, their ability to put you at ease, uh, to to get the best out of you, to make you feel that you're in a safe, comfortable place and that they want the absolute best for you and that they want it to be you. I think that's what makes a great one normally. And most of the ones I know do that, so they're amazing people. Well, other than your wife, there yeah. are some <laughs> casting directors, I'm sure, who have made a difference in oh, your absolutely. career. How have they helped you out? How have they helped form your career over the years? Uh, well, I'd say even the guy you just talked to, Rich Mento, uh, he cast me in uh, one of my first uh, films when I was in New York. Uh, it was a very big uh, film for me. I think he went to bed for me. I was sort of a long shot, and he just kept bringing me in, and eventually I got it. Um, and I think it's a lot of times that drive to the, for casting directors. They find the person. And they just keep slowly slipping them in front of a director just to keep them reminded of them. Uh, same for uh, Vicki Thomas, who's being honored tonight. She, I got a call basically, like I put myself on tape. Uh, I got a call months later, like, it's you. You're going in a you know, Hollywood production. It's like, great, okay. Uh, so she cast me in Straight Outta Compton. Um, and then I also had Meg Simon's always been one of my, uh, she was my sort of a fairy godmother, I guess, um, in New York. I lived there for eight years. Um, she took me in her office. So it was the first uh, TV audition I ever had. Um, she... Saw me in a play, thought I was great, gave me a card, said, come and see me. Um, and then she took me into her office to help me go over the audition because she was like, I like you. I think you're right for this. Let's go to my office and work for 10 minutes and got my first test. I didn't get the job, but got my first test. And so um, those women uh, have been amazing for me. And then uh, Robert J. Ulrich, who's also here, has cast me in, my, uh, <laughs> in a pilot. My first should be picked up. Um, and so, yeah, I think all of them... Uh, they're extremely kind people who just go above and beyond and um, I think really love what they do. Um, so, yeah. Now paying them back here tonight, I know yeah. CSA appreciate you being here. Oh, and thanks for taking the time to talk no, to me too. I really me. appreciate <laughs> it. And let you get back to the party now. Oh, thanks. Okay, thanks so much. You too.